Well, I, I started uh, collecting at a young age. It uh, happened to be uh, trading cards of, of famous paintings at an early age. And later on, uh, I started collecting uh, Indian art, artifacts, and then radios, and then moved into art. And uh, I, I decided that, uh, that I wanted to start collecting California art, California artists because they were paintings of things that I had grown up with and knew, so I could really relate to it. So I started collecting uh, watercolors and oils, uh, later uh, some lithographs. So um, uh, we've developed quite a, quite a collection, and they're, all, they're typically California scene paintings. Uh, we define California scene painting as a painting of California with evidence of a human being uh, in the painting, uh, as opposed to just pure landscapes. What is it you like about the California scene school? Well, I think most importantly, these paintings have a narrative, or they have a story. If you look at uh, you know anything with human beings in it, it typically will have some sort of a story to it, and that was I think what engaged us the most. Uh, we wanted to try to figure out, well, what is going on here? What is the, the story? And that adds a certain richness to, uh, to the painting. Uh, yep. Well, Milford was, was truly one of the great uh, artists uh, of this uh, group. Uh, he was probably the most prolific. Uh, he painted uh, just about every day of his life, uh, from the 30s all the way up until the practically the day he passed away. I had the honor of attending his 100th birthday at the Pasadena Museum of California Art and saw him uh, teach a few students uh, uh, about watercolor design and it was really quite a uh, wonderful thing. But he, he went through all kinds of different phases. He always pushed the limits and one of the one of his statements that I heard once upon a time is that every time he started a new painting, it was like he was excited to see what was going to turn out. And he just painted his entire life. He never, it's like he never put a brush down. He just was uh, just most prolific.